get interesting session at the Israel Embassy with the Deputy Head of Mission. Let's let's check out what Israel offers you. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Good to be with you. Thank you so much. We'll start with an introduction. If you could let us know about yourself. So my name is Rania Vidya Klein. I have been posted here in India for two years and it's my fifth mission abroad. I've been in various places around the world um, and I am really enjoying India. I'm here with my husband and our two dogs and we love to uh, travel around India and meet the Indian people. Thank you so much. So when we talk about Israel, the first thing which comes in our mind are the beautiful beaches you have. Yes. Tell us more about the innumerable beaches you have there. So we really have a very wide variety of, the, of beaches. Um, some of them are very smooth and very easy to visit with children. Uh, there's a, a, a beach actually called um, the beach for the handicapped because it's so easy to access even with, with wheelchairs and things like that. That's in Herzliya. In the north, we have beaches which are more rocky and more interesting for, for the eye to explore, less for swimming. Um, there's really such an amazing variety of, uh, of beaches. One of the things that's very important for us though in Israel is to keep those beaches clean. And that's something that Israeli society is very focused on, keeping it clean. Um, about a year or so ago, there was an unfortunate uh, oil spill near the, um, in the Mediterranean near one of our beaches. And you could see people really coming to, to the beach in order to clean it up um, because it's so important for, for our people to be able to access the beaches be able to sw swim in the sea. Um, people love swimming, they love surfing, and it's just one of the things that a family enjoys doing. It's free, it's easy, it's wonderful, and people in Israel just love it. Absolutely, that's a wonderful initiative taken by the people out there. And when we talk about visiting Israel, so what are the three must do things which you would want to share with our visitors? So first and foremost is Jerusalem, our capital. Um, it's been our, the capital of the Jewish people for 3,000 years. Okay. It's a city of history, it's a city of spirituality, um, it's the three major monotheistic uh, religions, very important place. Um, whether you're Jewish or Christian or Muslim, you will find something that speaks to your heart there. And even if you're not of those uh, religions, I, I, I think even a Hindu will come in to visit Jerusalem and find spirituality here because it's just there in the stones and uh, you can just feel it uh, there. And beyond the spirituality, there's so much to do there and so much to see. It's just one of the most beautiful cities in the world. Second has to be Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is the center of nightlife. It's a center for shopping. It's a center for enjoying yourself, going to the beach, as we mentioned earlier. Um, it's, it's really a very young, very vibrant city, which everyone just loves. Now, third is a problem because how can I choose? Um, so what I would do is travel from Jerusalem down to the Dead Sea, which is a beautiful place in itself. Enjoy, enjoy that very unique place. The low, it's the lowest, lowest point place point. in the world, the lowest point in the world. It's very interesting. It's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's very healthy. Uh, to, to dip in the, uh, the Dead Sea. And then I would continue to the Arava Desert. The Arava Desert is a very interesting, little known place in Israel. Um, pe people abroad don't really know about it. And it's just a beautiful, sandy landscape that you can just relax in, enjoy. There's all sorts of little uh, Airbnbs there and all sorts of little places where you can stay and picnic. And I think that that would be an ideal um, an, an ideal visit to Israel, in my opinion. Wow, I think we've got a number of things to do in Israel. Yes. If you would want to share, if we talk about, you know, there are some similarities between India and Israel. Um, so, first of all, the variety, the variety of different places that, uh, that you can see in, in both places, but most of all, the people. The people in both, I, I think, Israelis and Indians, have an instant connection because both peoples are so warm, so friendly, they really get along well together, interesting foods that they feed each other, every, and the society here and in Israel, I think, really um, 
combine well together. Nice, nice. And if I talk about, I mean, this will be the last question now. So if I talk about which is your best travel destination in the world, except Israel, you can't say Israel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to say India, because as I said, it's there's such a variety here. The people are so friendly. And we, we've really, over the past two years, be, uh, been enjoying traveling the length and breadth of, of India. We've been to the south, we've been to the north. Um, we really love it, and there's so much to see here. Absolutely. I think it was a wonderful session knowing about your country. Thank and you very it's a much. pleasure having you here with us. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Hope I'm, I'm sure you will have a lot of things to go when you visit Israel. And do make a note of all these things, what we, we've been told by the, the uh, deputy head of the mission here. And do pack your bags and see you soon in Israel. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye.